Russia has a history of massive infrastructure projects that have left an indelible mark on the world. Among these is the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway, a massive engineering feat that spans the country's vast expanse. The Baikal Amur Main Line, another example of Russia's ambitious infrastructure projects, has been critical in connecting remote regions and promoting economic development. These projects highlight Russia's historical leadership in large-scale infrastructure projects. In this video, we look at the current landscape of Russia's ongoing megaprojects. The country continues to push the boundaries of infrastructure expansion, from modern transportation systems to innovative urban developments. This investigation will shed light on the current ambitious projects that are shaping Russia's future, demonstrating the country's commitment to driving progress through massive construction projects. Starting with number 9, the Moscow Samara High Speed Railway, which is a significant infrastructure project in Russia that aims to build a high speed rail link between Moscow, the capital city, and Samara, a key regional center. This railway project, which is currently under construction, represents a significant advancement in transportation connectivity, with the goal of reducing travel time between these two major cities to three hours upon completion in 2025. This future railway corridor is expected to span 770 kilometers and accommodate 25 high-speed trains, increasing the frequency and accessibility of travel along the route. The Moscow Samara High-Speed Railway's strategic significance goes beyond mere convenience, as it is expected to serve as an economic catalyst for regional development. The railway not only provides efficient connectivity, but it also has the potential to stimulate economic growth in both Moscow and Samara, fostering improved business interactions, tourism, and trade between these vital urban centers. This high-speed railway, as a critical infrastructure project, demonstrates Russia's commitment to improving intercity transportation and fostering economic progress across its regions. The number 8. LNG from the Baltic Sea Baltic LNG is a natural gas liquefaction project currently being built in Ust Luga, Russia. It will have a capacity of 13 million tons per year. The facility is expected to be completed in 2024. Baltic LNG is a collaboration between the Russian companies Gazprom and Novotech, as well as the Italian company Northeast. The project is being developed on the Baltic Sea coast and will use cutting-edge liquefaction technology to produce LNG. Baltic LNG is expected to help Russia's LNG exports to Europe. Number 7. The Kursk nuclear power plant Vaya represents a significant advancement in Russia's nuclear energy infrastructure. This plant, which is currently under construction in Kursk, is envisioned as a cutting-edge facility, with four reactors and a total capacity of 4,800 megawatts when completed in 2027. Notably, this ambitious project is expected to have far-reaching consequences, not only for Russia's energy sector, but also for the country's economy. The construction of the plant will become a cornerstone for employment, providing thousands of jobs and stimulating economic growth in the region. Furthermore, its operational phase is expected to significantly contribute to the national economy by generating billions of dollars in revenue, strengthening Russia's economic standing. Aside from its economic implications, the Vaya nuclear power plant is strategically significant in Russia's energy landscape. The plant, positioned as a means of diversifying energy sources, aims to reduce Russia's reliance on fossil fuels by emphasizing a shift towards sustainable nuclear power generation. This transition is consistent with global trends favoring cleaner, more renewable energy alternatives, positioning Russia as a key player in the global nuclear energy market. The Vaya nuclear power plant is expected to cement Russia's position as a major player in the nuclear energy sector, aligning with the country's goals of promoting cleaner energy sources and advancing its technological prowess in the international energy market. Number 6. Voskhod Wind Farm The Voskhod Wind Farm is a wind farm currently under construction in Russia's Leningrad Oblast. It will be 1,200 megawatts in capacity. The farm is scheduled to be finished in 2024. The farm will be built in northern Russia's Leningrad Oblast. Because of the strong winds, the location is ideal for wind energy generation. The farm will generate electricity with the help of 120 wind turbines. 
the electricity generated by the farm will be used to power local homes and businesses. Number 5. Northern Latitudinal Railway is a railway in northern Canada. The Northern Latitudinal Railway is a new Arctic railway line under construction. With a length of over 2,500 kilometers, it will be the world's longest railway line. The line, which will connect the cities of Mermans and Salakart, will be a vital link between Russia's European and Asian regions. The line is scheduled to be finished in 2035. The Northern Latitudinal Railway is a massive project that faces several problems. The Arctic is a difficult environment, and the line's construction will necessitate the employment of specialist equipment and procedures. The railway will also pass several sensitive natural regions, thus it is critical to minimize the environmental impact of construction. Despite the challenges, the Northern Latitudinal Railway is a vital project for Russia. The line will help to open up the Arctic region to economic development, and it will also improve transportation links between the European and Asian parts of the country. Number 4. Khabarovsk Vladivostok High Speed Railway Another high-speed railway route being built in Russia is the Khabarovsk Vladivostok High Speed Railway. The journey from Khabarovsk to Vladivostok will take only six hours. The line is scheduled to be finished in 2027. The Khabarovsk Vladivostok High Speed Railway is a massive infrastructure project that will connect Russia's Far East to the rest of the country. The line will also aid in the economic development of the region. Number 3. Yamal LNG is a natural gas liquefaction facility being built on the Yamal Peninsula. It has the world's largest LNG facility, with a capacity of 17.5 million tons per year. The facility is expected to be completed in 2024. Yamal LNG-2 is a joint venture between the Russian companies Gazprom and Novotech, as well as the French company Total. The facility is being built on the Yamal Peninsula, a vast Arctic territory rich in natural gas deposits. The project will manufacture LNG using petting edge liquefaction technology, which will subsequently be exported to markets throughout the world. Yamal LNG-2 is a major project, and it is expected to have a significant impact on the Russian economy. The plant will create thousands of jobs, and it will also generate billions of dollars in revenue. Yamal LNG-2 is also expected to help to reduce Russia's reliance on oil exports, and it will make the country a major player in the global LNG market. Number 2. Skolkovo Institute of Technology, the Skolkovo Innovation Center, is a Russian research and development facility located in Moscow. It is a hotspot for innovation and technology. The Skolkovo Innovation Hub is a government-funded initiative with the goal of creating a new innovation and technology hub in Russia. The facility will house a variety of research and development facilities, as well as a business incubator. The institution's goal is to attract some of Russia's and the world's best and brightest minds. Number 1. LNG-2 from the Arctic Arctic LNG-2 is a new natural gas liquid action facility being built on the Muayanel Peninsula. It is the world's second largest LNG facility, with a capacity of 12.6 million tons per year. The factory is expected to be completed soon. Arctic LNG-2 is also a joint venture between the Russian companies Gazprom and Novotech, as well as the French corporation Total. The project will use the same liquefaction technology as Yemul LNG-2 and will be built on the same site. Arctic LNG-2 is predicted to have a comparable economic impact on Russia as Yemul LNG-2. These are just a few of the many mega construction projects underway in Russia. These projects are transforming the country and making it a global leader in energy, technology, and innovation. If you're interested in learning more about these projects, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. We'll keep you updated on the latest developments in Russian megaproject development.